These kids, man. They keep telling me you can guard PAY shot. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on hotrod.tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? We're back with another Chaos Coaching video. It's been a minute since I did one of these. If you guys are new, basically, it's just me walking you through everything that I'm doing my adjustments, my play calls everything of that nature i don't want to keep this i don't want to make this a long intro i really i'm really excited to get into this gameplay very quickly though i just want to say i hope you guys have been stopping by the streams i've been streaming each weekend for weekend league maybe not every weekend but most weekends we've been streaming and i hope i hope to see all you guys in there i want to keep plugging this for you guys if you guys want to watch me play weekend league right here this is where you want to be make sure you guys come through there guys i love interacting with you we had a great week for weekend league we finished number five we went 23 and two it was a ton of fun Hope to see more in there, uh, more of you guys in there interacting with you, having a good time. But enough dilly down. Let's get over to the lineup. We'll get into the gameplay. You guys already know we're starting off with 99 overall Patrick Mahomes. You guys saw the title. You guys saw the thumbnail. We had to use them, guys. We had to pick them up. I just want you guys to be able to see this beautiful card on the right. So I want to make it bigger for you guys. If you guys don't know already, you guys can go into the front uh, front art for a lot of players. NFL 100 is this MVP card and you can change it. Uh, I like this new one that they gave for the Super Bowl. It's really, really, really cool, guys. Just to go over his abilities. He's the first 99 overall, so he's the first one that can get tier three abilities in every single spot. So he gets QB Playmaker, he gets Romy Deadeye, he gets Escape Artist. Honestly, man, uh, it would be a lot better if Roaming Deadeye wasn't the best one because it doesn't really make a difference. Roaming Deadeye's a tier one ability. But if you guys don't know the glitch with Roaming Deadeye, it basically is dashing Deadeye, no look Deadeye, all combined. If you let go of RT right before you throw it, it doesn't um, think that you're sprinting and it throws a nice pass. So let's just go through the rest of the team. It's been a minute since I showed my team uh, for one of these chaos coaching videos. So I wanted to give you guys all that. So we have T.O., Tyree Kill and Randy Moss, Eric Dickerson and Chris Johnson. I got rid of Bo Jackson. You guys know me. I throw to my running backs. Bo Jackson drops the ball too much. Uh, so I had to drop him. My O-line, eh, it's okay. I, I don't really notice too many sheds, so I don't really worry about it too much. I don't use any tight ends. So that's why George Kittle is not upgraded or anything like that. Quickly grab these pictures back. My defense... My defense is where I'm really happy right now. So we have a uh, great safety, Sean Taylor, Ed Reed, Jamal Adams, and Pat Tillman. Jamal Adams is one of our activated. He gets Supreme Tackle and Enforcer and Zone Out. So he's very, very effective. Lawrence Taylor, Patrick Willis, Ryan Shazier, Khalil Mack. Those guys are really just for the run defenses. Reggie White, DeForest Buckner, and Aaron Donald. Now, I want to talk about Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is the best player on defense in this game across the D-line, that, for that matter. He gets... Uh, run stopper and he gets pass rush lead. He's the only one in the game that gets that right now, as far as I know. So you, you guys need a you guys need Aaron Donald on your team, basically. So here's our DBs. Now I think I might be getting rid of Rod, Rod Woodson soon and picking up Richard Sherman. Not 100 sure on that, but I think I'm going to do that. Kicker and punter. It is what it is. We don't like we don't like to kick and punt, but Dolphins offense, Dolphins defense. You guys already know where you guys can get the ebook over at HotRot.Tips. That's it for the team, man. Let's get into the game. All right, man, let's see what we're getting into. This is his team. He's got Michael Vick. He ain't doing it right. He doesn't have Patrick Mahomes. No, no, honestly, I personally still think Patrick Mahomes is not quite as good as Michael Vick because of the roaming dead eye glitch. If roaming dead eye wasn't a glitch, then he'd just be so much better because he can get like the crossbody dead eye and all that stuff. But since all you need is roaming, you can just keep using Vick. I'm going to be using this Mahomes, showing you guys what he's looking like, though. I had to get you guys hip to him. I had to give you guys a little bit of gameplay. We are going to get the ball first. As always, guys, go into your settings, making sure you're setting to kick as your first option and against the wind as your second option. So I'm receiving, so it means I lost the toss. But that does mean I'm against the wind. So that means in the fourth quarter, I'll have the win for me at the end of the game. Now, I wanted to, before we get into the gameplay, I wanted to make sure you guys know I've been doing these theme teams. So I wanted to let you guys know if you guys are up for a, a Kansas City one, if you guys want a Kansas City Chiefs theme team, a thousand likes on this video. Nothing crazy. You guys have been hitting that pretty much every single video we already do. A thousand likes. I'll drop the Kansas City Chiefs two-game gameplay with their theme team. They're, they're gonna be so much fun, man. McCole Harmon, Tyree Kill, it's gonna be crazy. But we're gonna go, we're gonna start off with Moss. So you guys know how it goes. It's chaos coaching. So I'm trying to give you guys advice. If you got a Moss, start off with a Moss. Now, don't force it. If you don't have time, like I'll take my post sometimes as I as I have, leave the post wide open. If you guys have your post, take the free 15 yards because you know on this first down. As you guys can see, he blitzed nine. People are going to do that to you. So you, you want to get the ball off, take the free yards instead of taking a sack. That's on me. A lot of the time, I won't even use my Moss because simply I don't want to take a sack like that. But 
now we should be he should be playing regular defense now we're gonna play regular offense we'll see how it goes see this is kind of a feel out drive i always tell you ooh, i had him i had him I, I forgot i have playmaker i gotta get used to using playmaker this is my first time all year using playmaker but i was telling you guys this is a this is a feel out drive the first drive you kind of get a gauge of what your opponent wants to do right you know if they want to send a ton of pressure seven eight guys if they want to play coverage sending three or four you get that feel you can know those things later on in the game pick up on their tendencies and then on the other side of it you have um offensively when i punt the, when i'm giving the ball back i said punt hopefully we're not punting the ball whenever he gets the ball you can feel out what he wants to do on offense and pick up on his favorite plays what he goes to on third down what he goes to on fourth down those things are important if you guys are going to be successful you need to be picking up on those, on those things now i'm gonna try to pick up this first down i have a smart rounded corner and a smart rounded in we didn't get our chop locked the way we wanted i actually have a laser mahomes little swerve little dot sometimes if you guys aren't swerving i'm still learning it i'm not great at swerving but if you're still learning it's basically clicking on moving the guy just a bit and then moving him back into position so that you get your feet down so you get better animations you avoid hit sticks stuff of that nature that's going to help you guys be more successful in this game now it looks like he's sending a lot of pressure i'm actually going to audible down utilize the fact that with my split close i'm able to audible down to strong and i form and, and take advantage of people that are over committing if i can get it uh between this gap here i can break a big run with dickerson now i do have an activated dickerson Ooh, that's 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 just bad stick. you guys know me you guys know me i don't have great stick uh but that's okay i like to take advantage of my i'm not gonna waste my x factor there's no point of me using dickerson if i'm not gonna utilize it i think i have space to the right here i'm gonna hike it oh we got space jukebox i mean dude I mean, dude, you guys can watch me to learn about Madden. I know some stuff about Madden. I, I'm just being honest. I know some stuff about Madden. Do not watch me for my stick work. I am awful. I am awful, guys. And if you guys are new to these, just know these are usually longer videos, less cut, less edited. It's usually more for helping teach you guys how to get better at the game. A lot of people are always interested in that, like how to improve. So I'm trying to, I try to give back a little bit, try to help you guys get better. Uh, I'm not the best, I'm not the best player by any means. I mean, sometimes I don't do things right, but sometimes... Sometimes we can make a little bit of plays. It's just a little bit of pocket there. I need to I need to focus on using this QB playmaker, man. I'm not used to it at all, but I actually should have this right here. He's going to blitz. So what I'm going to do, he's been in the cover three or cover four for the most part. I'm actually going to motion this guy out on his flat. If he plays, if he stays in that cover four, I should have him. If he's a man, I should have Owens. So we'll see. He's a man. We have Owens. Ah, and I dropped it. Oof. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Not the way we wanted our first drive to go. I'll be honest. Of course, you want to get points on your first drive. But we did get a feel for what he wanted to do. He went to Nickel Norville whenever he wanted to play coverage. I noticed that. I don't know if you guys noticed that too. That's something I picked up on. Now, he went at, whenever he wanted to blitz, he usually went to like a 3-4 set or uh, like an overload blitz and sending extra pressure. So I'm also doing my subs right now. If you guys aren't doing your subs, setting your audibles, guys, it's very, very important. You guys might not call the right play that you want to be in right off rip, especially on offense when it comes to audibles. Substitutions, putting your guys in a place to be successful. If you, go, if you want a guy to play run defense... From the middle linebacker position you can't keep him an outside linebacker if you have a pass rusher but you're trying to play run defense that's not going to work for you so just making sure that you have the right guys out there now he's coming out on the split close we're in the exact same offenses now luckily i'm familiar with it so that i can actually do a good job against it usually usually but if he audibles down i might start to have some trouble we'll see what he does here looks like he's not going to audible down i'm actually going to send some pressure luckily when you're playing against your own offense you kind of know what bothers you a little bit when people send seven and eight that's probably the biggest thing that gives me pressure uh trouble and there we go we get to the qb all i'm doing right there is engaging engaging the offensive line so i'm sending seven but if i touch up just touch up the guard a little bit just touch them up it's it thinks that you're sending eight and you can go back and lurk and do whatever you want to do but you the offensive line still thinks you're blitzing so it can throw them off a little bit now i'm actually going to mix, mix in some uh coverage make it look like i'm uh blitzing so i'm gonna go down here and hover again as you guys can see, I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm, but I, like I'm holding that gap, but now I'm actually just playing coverage. And you see, he sends five out, tries to get a quick read, and we get a sack. See, he thought we were going to send pressure, so he was going to try to throw one of the two running backs. You get a quick read, but I had a bunch of zones out there. I only sent four. Nothing's open for him. We get a sack. Just mixing it up, guys. Keeping them, keeping your opponent guessing is probably the number one thing to be successful on defense. If you don't, if they don't know what you're doing, how do they know what routes to put out there? Right? Am I wrong? Can't be right. We're gonna try to send some pressure now this time just mixing it up continuing to mix it up we'll see what he's got for it quick touch oh i'm out there i'm out there oh i'm not out there good tackle now you're gonna get to see what his favorite play is on fourth down this is his go-to play he's gonna go to it. he knows he needs the first down so we're gonna find out right now what he's gonna want to go to later in the game so this, we're gonna pay much attention we're gonna put it in our mental notes after he hikes this ball what he puts out on the field okay so got an in route from tyreek 
we, we played good defense right there. I'll be honest. I think he thought we were sending extra pressure, so we tried to max pro. We only sent four. Guys, we're making sure we're confusing him on the defensive side of the ball. We're doing a good job. I'm happy with the way that we're playing right now. We're keeping our opponent guessing. Now, that probably isn't his money play. It looked like he was just ready for a cover two, send a bunch of people. So we didn't learn anything from there, but at the same time, we got to stop. We'll take that any day of the week. Now, we're going to try to wake up on offense. Wasn't our greatest start. Oh, we picked this up. We got him. We got him. Mahomes, baby. Get in the end zone. Ah, come on. I got to swerve that in. See, that's where, that's where I lack. That's why I lack. One of the keyest things in this game guys is knowing where you lack where you where you can improve and swerving is is definitely my number one thing i can improve on i need to be able to take that into the end zone because if you're playing a top player maybe you don't punch the ball in when it's first and goal from the two maybe they have really really good run defense so just noting those things is really very important and we're gonna try to audible down here and punch this thing in we'll see what we can do and we're in let's go all right now something i want to note this here i want to note this here i didn't talk about it before I actually made a mistake. You guys probably noticed it. If you guys have been watching these, I've talked about them before. So you might even have commented it. On the first time I audible down to my dive, he blew it up. But keep in mind, I actually handed off with the wrong hand because I'm used to Michael Vick. So you have to do it backwards. If a left-handed quarterback versus a right-handed quarterback. Now pay attention here. This is important. If you have a right-handed quarterback, you want to hand off with your left hand. So that means you want to hand off to the right because you're going to be doing it with your left. You can picture it. Just picture it in your own head. You want to hand off with the left. If you're a left-handed QB, you want to hand off with the right. So with Mahomes there, I hand it off with my left. It's a quicker handoff. It makes it go faster. And you're not going to get blown up in the backfield. So that's something I did. Something everyone should be noting and getting better at. Now he audible down here. So we're going to try to blow this up. You guys already know this is the best part about split close when you audible down. And he's going to pass out of it. Wow. I'm so... Oh! Now, the, honestly, the best part about split close is being able to audible down and run the ball. He passed out of it. I'm not... I'm not agreeing with that call. Honestly, I thought he should at least test a run. See if I have run defense for my 146. Test me. Maybe he breaks a big one. Maybe I blow it up. But you don't know until you test it. Defensively here, I'm just trying to mix up again. Sending seven, sending four. Sending seven, sending four. And keeping him guessing every single play. Now we're sending a seven. And we're gonna we're gonna touch this guy up. But I'm giving ooh, he's audible and down. He's audible and down. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pull this guy down. Get my safety in the run fit. If he runs the ball, kudos to him. He should be running the ball. And we're gonna see what we can do against it. This is this is a tell for us. If we can't stop this, we're gonna. Oh my gosh, he passed the ball again. Let's go. Let's. Oof. We're getting after him right now. I'm not sure why he's not running the ball. I wanna. I wanna coach him right now. I wanna be like, hey man, like test the run. Like see if I can stop it. I honestly don't even know. Like going into the game, you guys know. If you guys try to play run defense, sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. So I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to stop it. I wish he would actually try me. But he's not trying. We're going to have to the QB. And I got to live with that. So he's going to send five out here. Oh, Dion, jump for the ball, buddy. Just put those hands up. But he's he's making some tough reads right here. When you're sending seven in this game, guys, it's really tough. You got to make quick reads. It's something you have to practice. That's something I've worked a lot on. Because when I play in split close, people are sending pressure at me all the time. But we're going to mix in here some coverage. Just continuing to keep him guessing. If he sends five out, he's going to get sacked. So got to keep that, keep that going. He mixing up my defenses and the more i can keep him guessing the better holding this gap here what's he got what's he got he sent he only sent three out again he did it again we're there we're there champ all right he didn't catch it but i guess that's better for me actually i'm actually really happy we got into this game right now i feel like we're doing a good job of exemplifying mixing in the coverage mixing in the blitz mixing in the coverage mixing in the blitz and keeping our opponent guessing now Something I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually audible over here. It looks like the strong side's to the right. You guys can see he moved his linebackers over. I'm going to run this power over to the left. Guys, I know running the, running the ball this year is really, really good. And it feels like you can just hike the ball and run. And, and sometimes that's the case. But also just taking advantage of the numbers game. When I can flip, so now you see the weak side's on the left. I'm going to run the ball to the right now. Just taking advantage of that numbers game can help you to be really, really effective. But what I was saying basically was... Oh, a little, a little jukebox. See, that's, that's the part of the run game where it's like, uh, am I really thinking? I don't know. But the, the numbers game is part of the thinking. But just keeping your opponent guessing, I wanted to exemplify that really, really well. You see, he's max proing when I'm sending out, when I'm sending only four people against him, he's max proing. And he's sending five out when I'm only sending four. Like, it's it's getting him sacked. He's confused. He's not really sure how many routes should I put out there. What routes should I put out there? Are you cover three, cover two? Guys, please mix in. Your, if you're playing a passer, if you happen to be playing a passer this year, Please just mix in your coverages, mix in how many people you're sending. And honestly, it's not only going to help you for this year. It's going to help confuse your opponent this year. It's going to help you play better defense the next year. Because this year, it's a little bit of a handicap right now that you can send seven people, hover in a gap, touch the guy up, and get an instant scream and they can't get a pass off, right? That's a little bit of a crutch. It might not be like that next year. 
It's going to help you play defense, but it honestly helps you this year as well. I feel like keeping your opponent guessing is always a good thing, and I always preach that. That being said, I'm sending seven right here. I'm going to touch this guy up, try to get some instant pressure. He's motioned over Chris Johnson. I'm not sure if he can block from that spot, so I feel like he's going out. He actually blocked him, but we touched him up, and we're humming, man. I mean, dude, it, I'm telling you, man, it's just this the touching up and the engaging is so important. If you guys aren't doing that when you're sending seven, make sure you're doing that trying to help you guys out a little bit if you're sending seven and not getting home it's probably because you're doing that now that being said i'm doing it again i am doing it again i know i said mix up my coverages but when he motions out in that tight end looking spot i don't think he can pick this up so i'm just going to continue to do it and if he shows he can pick, pick it up then i'll mix it up a little bit more all right nothing doing he broke the sack oh my gosh we are we are humming guys we are really humming if if this game does end up being a quick one or if it ends up being a quit i will get into another one for you guys but if it doesn't, we'll see how this game goes. I do feel like I'm being able to teach you guys a lot. That's the point of these videos. Now, I do want to, do I want it to be a great game, a competitive game? Of course, everyone would want that. But at the same time, if I can teach you guys something, it's valuable. So if the game ends up being a blowout, that's okay. I hope you guys will continue to watch it with me. But again, if it ends up being a quit or whatever, we will 100% get into another game and continue to teach you guys how to get better at Madden. You guys know how it goes. Sometimes they're blowouts. Honestly, I get a lot of quits a lot of the time, too. So we end up getting to a second game. But there's nothing wrong with that because I can kind of skip the pregame antics, the uh, setting your audibles, the doing the subs, all that stuff of that nature. But I'm going to run the ball here. He finally ran the ball. It's the run that we got boxed up, man. I mean, guys, if you guys need this defense, if you guys need, I'm not going to call timeout here because there's no runoff in what, by the way. I just wanted to say that. I'm not going to call timeout here. But if you guys need this defense, you guys know where to go, man. Hotroute.tips. It's got run defenses, it's got blitzes. We're actually getting ready to update our newest defense as well. We're going to add another one, 236 Sam. It should be there in like another day or two. Not going to be up there when you guys are seeing this, but another. Ooh! Eddie. Oh my gosh, I fumbled. Oh my gosh. I'm over here talking about all the stuff you can find on my site. I'm spinning, I'm juking. I don't have any stick. I'm actually making someone miss for once, and I fumbled the ball, man. So he actually came out in single back ace close. So I came out in run defense, but he audibled into this gun ace slot. So I'm actually going to come out in 146 from now on if he's going to do this. He tricked me. He did a good job of tricking me. He wanted me out of that 146. It was giving him trouble. I don't, I don't, I'm not mad at him for it. I mean, why wouldn't he? He was giving him trouble. Why not mix it up? That's good by him. Honestly, I preach to you guys all the time. If something's not working offensively or defensively, why not change it up, dude? Like, if, you, if it's not going to work, why keep doing something that's not working and continuing to struggle? But that being said, I'm going to try to go to 146 here. If he starts toting on me out of this, we'll mix it up. And we'll go to nickel normal or something. Something that can stop both of those. Yeah, I didn't like that look. He took the wrong cut. Did not like that look. That That's me changing it up. Again, not being stubborn. No reason to continue to do something that's not working. So I like this here. Nick, nickel normal is kind of my in-between. If they're in strictly runs, I'm going to go to 3-4. If they're in strictly passing, I'm probably going to be in 146. Or if they're in like shotgun run def like shotgun runs, I'll usually stay in 146. But if they're if they're gonna go to the Ooh, that was bad run D. Bad run D. Uh, all I was gonna say was in between is nickel normal, but that didn't look like no in between, huh? He he just told him uh, that was an easy touchdown. We'll be okay. We'll get the ball back on offense. We'll be all right. Honestly, him getting that touchdown is a good thing. It keeps him more competitive. And I can I can get more practice with this playmaker, man. I really I want to get used to this. I haven't used it all year. Ooh, that's so fast, dude. So fast. I love it. Maybe I do need to stick with this Patrick Mahomes. QB Playmaker might be it for split close. Now, I honestly don't think it's that big of a deal if they're going to be... Oh, he's going to break off. He's going to break off. They always do. They always... Guys, oh my gosh. Let me let me go on a little spiel. I got to do this. Look, this is what people do. They love to lurk on their deep blues this year. That's, that's cool. You get better animations with your safeties. If they are on a deep blue and they're following your streak, and you have something for them to break off to, hence why I always have a crosser or corner out or something for them to break off to, chuck that streak. You guys saw how early I threw it. Go ahead and rewind it. Go ahead and rewind. No, matter of fact, I'll put it in the replay right now as I do this kickoff. Look how early I start throwing. Look at his windup. He's still on the streak. I threw that thing way before he broke off. Just assuming he's going to break off. Please throw it. Just got to trust it. I can't remember the last time I threw a pick on a streak where I thought, I thought the guy might break off. Just trust it, man. You guys will be successful with it. It's so useful. If they're going to use it in deep blue, you have to make them pay for it. That being said, that being said, we got to make sure we don't give up any points before this half. It, I think it's his, yeah, it's his ball at half. So we got to make sure we're okay here. Because if he gets any type of points, three or seven, we'll put us in a spot we don't want to be in. I'm going to make sure I have a spy out there. Now I'm on the deep blue myself. Ooh. So I need to make sure I don't give up a free touch. Now I just preaching to him. If he's going to do on a deep blue, he better lurk that streak. If he puts a streak over there in my field, 
I gotta make sure I'm on it. This guy's done a successful job of getting me out of my 146 the way I want to play defense. I'm over there. I'm over there. Go get that. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, uh, you guys are laughing. Uh, you guys are laughing at me because it's I'm literally preaching. Don't give up the free touchdown. No, that was not the same. My guy was literally right there to guard it. And I don't know how he dumbed out. I don't know how he dumbed out, but he did. That hurts. That actually really hurts. It's his ball at half. We need to try to get some points to kind of salvage this because now we're in a ball game. Now we're in a ball game. If he gets points out of halftime, we're literally going to be tied. So sorry, if he gets seven out of halftime, we're going to be tied. So obviously not what I wanted to do. I'm not really mad at the way that I play defense there, though. I felt like my guy was in position to make a play. He honestly just whiffed. So that happens. That's that's Madden. It is what it is. We'll try to get it back right here. We only have 25 seconds. We got to move quick. I'm going to try to go for a bomb here. If he gives it to me, he gives it to me. If he doesn't, he doesn't. We'll try to make sure we get three. But obviously, if we can get a bomb off, we'll definitely take that. We just need to block now. Don't send too much pressure. He didn't. We got the chop. He looks like he's on it. He's not gonna. He's not gonna break it this time. See why he didn't break off? Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Give me some yards. Give me some yards. Get out of bounds. He didn't break off there because I had nothing for him to break off too. Now, if I had a crosser or a corner out there to break off, you already know I'm chucking that thing. I already told you guys they will break off. Now. What I'm going to do here is he, he, he want, he's being stubborn. He wants to stay on that deep blue. I'm going to try to flood him in a way where he can either break off or I'll have a wide, wide, wide open corner route. I can get out of bounds and try to get some points before half. Simple concept here. Just corner out in the smart end. We got our chop block. Got a man. Little swerve. I mean, dude, that's that's on me. That is all on me. I did swerve, but I swerved right into the hit stick. That's my fault. That's my fault. I have a hard time thinking he's going to give me that again. I'm just going to try to pick up a few yards here. He's in cover three. Take my flat, get upfield. Oh my gosh, weird animation, weird. I usually can rack those and get upfield for six, seven yards. If you guys watch me play, I literally do it all the time, especially on stream. But that was not the animation I wanted right there. Uh, not ideal. I do have timeout, so I can work. Everything's in play. The, the middle of the field's in play and the, and the sidelines are in play. So I don't have to worry about where I'm catching the ball at. Step up in the pocket, make a play. We'll take our three, man. There's nothing wrong with taking three right here. Nothing wrong with that at all. Guys, also... Let me let me take the time. That's a perfect time just to talk about don't fall in love with rolling out of the pocket. I love rolling out of the pocket too. You can make plays. You can throw the ball to the corner route. You can throw the ball to your crosser. But there's nothing wrong either with a good old-fashioned step up in the pocket, go make a play just like that. And we, you saw it worked out. We were able to get, get 15 easy yards uncontested, and we got three before half. Now he it's his ball. This is the most important drive of the game. If we get a stop, we're pretty much going to win. If he gets points... We are in a dogfight, and it's good to go. But remember, remember, this is a time where you can start to pick up on his tendencies. He hasn't shown me anything too crazy yet. He's, he's, we got, we got him out of the spit close. We got him out of his main game plan. He's gone to this ace close, and really all he's done is either run the ball, mixed in a couple passes here or there, but nothing like, like a, ooh, that's his main setup. That's his go-to. So I'm still paying attention for those things, trying to get a stop here. Something I am going to do right here is I'm going to make sure I'm playing run defense every play. Until he shows he wants to pass the ball every down out of this ace close, he already broke one big run. I'm not going to allow two big runs. So we are going to play. We are going to play run defense until he shows me otherwise. Here's one pass. A post corner. Give me that. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my gosh. How do you not put your hands up? You guys are going to talk about Lurker. I don't use Lurker. I don't use it. I, I always say I don't get the animations. Honestly, I don't know if I get the animation with Lurker there. You guys probably say you definitely do. But I, I had no luck with it. I, I fell out of love with it very, very quickly. He audible down here. We'll see if he runs. I've been waiting for him to audible down and run all game. He finally tried it. Wow, man. He picked the wrong run, I guess. I mean, everything's just kind of going well for us. It's Our game plan's working. We haven't had to make any switches for the most part other than when he went to that ace close. Outside of that, we've been able to do what we want to do. I'm going to send pressure again. And hopefully, we can just get after him. Touch this guy up real quick. And we're, and we're humming, man. I mean, dude. I mean... If you get you can send seven out of one four six and literally it gets picked up every single time in split close. I run split close. It gets picked up every time. You add that touch, we got three guys coming in. It's actually crazy. Fourth and nineteen, boys. Here's what I'm gonna tell you guys to do. Every single time, every single time, send the dogs, dude. Send the dogs. Touch the guy up. Make sure you get home. There's no reason he should be able to pick up fourth and nineteens. We touch the guy up. We got a guy coming free. Shouldn't have anything. Swat that thing out of there. Good defense. I mean. If it was like fourth and ten, I'm probably showing. I'm probably showing the blitz, and um, I'm probably playing coverage. But it was 19. I didn't think he could get time to throw anything beyond 19 yards when I have deep blues out there. But again, if it was like fourth and ten, you have time. You can get a ball off. I'm probably showing coverage. Just again, that just goes back to mixing up your offensive calls, mixing up your defensive calls. It's very, very important. 
I'm going to audible down here. I need to get used to coming out the other way. Whenever I knew I wanted to run the ball, I knew I got to be on the right when I had Vic. Now I know I need to be on the left. But audible down, you guys are going to see. I'm going to hand off with my left hand. Make sure I have the correct hand. I can get the faster hand off. I mean, I, I'm telling you, this is chaos coaching. I'm going to coach myself. I need to get in the lab, maybe just go into practice mode and work on my run stick. Like there is a big gap right there. Instead, I run right into Aaron Donald. Makes no sense, man. He's showing pressure right here. So I'm going to assume that he is going to do pressure. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to streak Moss. He has streak specialist. So I'm going to probably throw it. This is a weird route combo. Yep. And now, obviously, he didn't have any deep blue out there to guard that. That's cool. That would have been wide open no matter who you had there. But if he did have a deep blue, like maybe they had a middle third, I can still throw that. And as long as he gets his hands on it, he's going to catch it. That's how streak specialist works. So streak specialist is probably one of my favorite abilities. And... Uh, and now and obviously it's like a cheaper one it's like a tier one for most uh top receivers and it's just very very effective man so ho hopefully if you guys are using receiver abilities you have a streak specialist on him because it's going to help you on rack ags when you're going deep it's going to help you in situations in the red zone you can just quickly throw streaks just snap throw them and as long as they get that touch on it they're usually going to come down with it now as he comes back out and split close guys i want to say something to you he had success in ace close if you have success in something, why change? I've done a good job against split close all game. He struggled all game with me mixing up the pressure and the coverage. So why? Ooh, dangerous one. That's a dangerous one. But why change? I don't understand why people do that. People are so adamant on running something and just being stubborn and not changing until they can make it work. But if you have something that's working like that was, I have no reason as to why I would do that. I would completely stick with the ace close until I showed I could stop it, especially running the ball. He didn't, he stopped running the ball too. He broke a big run. Why not try it again? But he's thrown. We're going to try to get another stop right here. Quick touch up. He's sending five out. He's doing a good job with the five out. He's doing a good job with the five out now. I've gotten away from mixing up my coverage. I'm going to do the same exact thing right here. I'm going to show that I'm sending seven. I'm only going to send two. Just because you guys see now, he's starting to send five out. If he sends five out against this, uh, send four. I'm actually going to get right home. Move this guy in. Showing the same thing. It looks like. It looks like the blitz, right? It looks like I'm hovering. I'm sending seven. Look how many I'm sending. Only four. All right. He ran. Ooh, nice call. He ran the ball. He ran the ball. I, I don't mind that call. I don't mind that call. I'm hovering the gap. So that means my user's kind of out of the play when it comes to run defense, right? When I'm backed off, I can kind of gauge it. Where's he going? Where's he cutting? And try to fill a gap. When I'm just holding my gap like that, I'm going to be stuck. That being said, he only broke a few, so I'm not mad at it. I'll go right back to the to the coverage defense that shows the blitz i'm gonna move over here he motioned the guy out so i he might not be running the ball he still can run that power oh but i i feel like he's not going to i'm out there i'm out there oh jamal that was inaccurate but i'm pretty sure i picked that anyways we'll take this one to the crib we'll take this one to the crib i know you got a lot of you guys probably came here to see how good mahomes was i'm gonna try to make some plays with him next time i'm back on offense however if you guys really want to see how good this mahomes is make sure you guys are tuned in Next video, remember, a thousand likes. We'll get that Chiefs all-time best theme team, which which has really good receivers, by the way. And I'll utilize that Mahomes even more in that. So I'm utilizing some of this. You guys have already seen the playmaker get loose. You guys have seen him throw on the run accurately. You guys have seen his strong arm. You guys have seen a lot from him. He's a very, very good player. I'm going to continue to show him the rest of the video, continue to let him loose. But if you guys want to see more footage, you guys know what's coming. Back in split close. I'm going to play coverage right here. It's been giving him some trouble. We send this guy's out. We're humming. We're humming. Ooh, good pocket. Oh, he got stripped. Oh, he got stripped. All right, you got it back. You got it back. He got it. But he had actually, he actually had a good pocket right there, guys. If you guys send the running back off the side, if you guys can sidestep it, a lot of times you can make sure that you can uh, get outside of the get outside of the blitz in a way and make sure that you guys can you you help your running back and you help your line block the blitz. It doesn't always work, but it helps you a little bit. Let's see if he runs the ball here. Last time he ran it, he definitely got blown up in the backfield. He's gonna pass. I'm back there. Again, I'm on my deep blue. I'm not breaking off. I refuse. Oh, we got a pick. Let's go. I refuse to break off right there. If you're going to lurk on a deep blue like I'm doing, you got to make sure you're not breaking off, man. It's so very important that you don't give up free touchdowns. Make your opponent work. Why would you ever give them something for free when you can just make them take underneath, take underneath, take underneath, then a mistake comes. I really want to show off Mahomes' cannon. I really want to show up. Please block. Please block. Oh, we got him. We got him. Beat down. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I, I almost missed up this first. Seven for nine. That, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Mahomes, he's been quietly having a good game. You can't forget what he's been able to do on the ground either. He's he's been he feels fast. He feels fast. He's not as fast as Vic, but he does feel like he moves out there. He's got good agility. He feels good. He feels like he's one of the better quarterbacks. I'd probably take him second right now behind Vic. Or oh, running. Let's see his speed. Let's see his speed. 
Get, get to that corner. Oh, he almost fought for me. But the way I'd probably rank the quarterbacks right now is Vic's number one. If you need playmaker, Mahomes is probably number two. I like him over Russell. The throw power, guys. You guys need throw power. Number three, it's probably going to have to be Steve Young just by technicality. But I'll tell you what, man. You guys be on the lookout for that Lamar Jackson. I think Lamar Jackson, when his MVP card drops, is going to be the best card in the game. I think he's going to be able to get to 99 speed without a theme team or anything like that just off his base stats and sprinter and coach Madden. And I think, uh, dang, Dickerson, you got to fight hard. Yeah, you know, when I go up against Dickerson, he fights for that for sure. But I think he's going to be able to get roaming dead iron escape arts. He's going to be very effective. He might even get human joystick. So we'll see when, it, when he comes out. You guys know, you guys know we're getting a Ravens theme team when he drops. So you guys will get gameplay with him too. I like to show you guys all the quarterbacks, show you guys what the best players are. Dang, man. I mean, my dick, I'm, I'm this close to not activating Dickerson. I know he's not juiced anymore with freight train, but. I feel like mine doesn't fight like others fights. I'm cool with getting two receivers and a quarterback, but that's neither here nor there. We're going to go for this. We're going to try to make Mahomes make a play. This is going to be a basically a makeshift QB draw. And none of these reads are going to the going to be passed. I'm going to run. I'm going to run. Yep. That was the whole plan. Sometimes the best pass in the red zone is just running with your QB. I sent out three routes where I thought he would have to kind of hover around them, be worried about them, a hitch, a curl. And I made sure I picked up his pressure, stepped up in that pocket like we talked about. It made a play. Now, if he had spied me, I might have had one of the hitches of the curls. Just kind of just kind of making a read, but that was basically a makeshift QB draw going into the play. I knew what I wanted to do, and I was able to make it happen. Mahomes looks good. He feels good in the pocket. He feels fast. His release feels pretty decent. It's not it's not the best. It's not the best release, but it feels decent. Nothing tops Rodgers, and honestly, Vic's not bad either, but he's felt like a pretty good QB so far. As this game gets out of hand, guys, I am actually so excited for this Chiefs team. I think they're going to be so good. They're going to be so explosive on offense with, with Mahomes, Tyreek, McCole Hardman. And their defense isn't going to be terrible because they got so many Super Bowl upgrades. Tyron Matthews is going to be good. And I didn't do a good job of touching up right there. That's why I didn't get home right away. We had decent coverage. He actually had his post. But just honestly, he's probably a little bit frazzled. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I get frazzled. When I play against someone that's blitzing me like crazy, I hesitate a little bit. You don't want to throw a lurk. So it just makes you hesitate just a little bit longer. I'm going to show the pressure here. I'm going to play a little bit of coverage. I know this was a blowout, guys. It probably wasn't the most entertaining game to watch. But at the same time, man, I mean, I really, really hope that you guys learn something from it. That's the whole point of these. Make you guys, help you guys get better as, Mad as Madden players. And uh, just do the best that I can to teach you. Come on, get home. Ah, we didn't get home. We didn't get home. I, I don't know if he's going to make that throw. I saw what he was throwing. I saw what he was throwing. He was throwing deep. We had good coverage out there. We only sent five. But honestly, I think the safety gets there. The guys are the safeties are so fast nowadays, guys. It's really, really hard to throw deep balls. That's gonna be it, though, man. I'm just gonna clock this guy out. You guys don't need to see anymore. Um, Patrick Mahomes is great. He's awesome. Honestly, sending seven is really good as well. It's it's a little fun. It's a little, it's a little glitch blitz. But we're just gonna clock out here. No reason to continue this. Uh, you guys, you guys have learned all you can learn from this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I really do. Um, if, if you did, if you did enjoy it, like, comment, subscribe, but that's it for the video, man. Take it easy. Peace.